Good morning, everyone. Day two from San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're at the convention center. Table number two, just the one match being streamed for you this morning, 10.30 local time. David Alcady on the right against Loy Long, American who, as a matter of fact, showed up late for this match. And because he was late, he was docked both the leg and down one rack. So that's why you see one nil to David Alcady already against Loy Long. I'm Jim Weich, very happy to be joined by Eric Horlifson, bringing you all the action in this one. As is the case with all the matches, it's a best two out of three race to four. If it goes 1-1, well, then we're confronted with the shootout. It gives you the lay of the land, and Loy Long had to rush to get here, and when I say rush, I'm not kidding. He was on his bike, wasn't he, Eric? Yeah, well, I mean, he, he knew he's he knew he was under threat of losing the match 15, mass, 15 minutes late and uh, that's, that's the match this is a loser side match Al Qaeda had a surprising loss in the first round to Abdullah Al Shamari lost in the shootout yeah that shootout has claimed a few victims already after day one and uh, today I'm pretty excited later in the day we're going to finally get to the team event and that's going to really bring the throngs out the fans because that brings drama pressure the team events are like no other that'll be later tonight eight o'clock local time you won't want to miss that but we've got a plethora of pool coming your way all day here on day two women will be in action midday and you'll see some of the men's winners and losers side. So you won't want to stray too far from those computers or those phones, however you're watching us. Long's coming in at a 600 Fargo, so about an average amateur player. Make Al Qaeda a big favorite in this match. Yeah, because in, in fairness, Eric, and I'm, you have to excuse me, I was kind of smiling when you said that. You've got a, a top professional up against an average amateur. So, I mean, the type of, look at that shot. What a shot from David there. And David is, uh, I mean, he's coming off a lot of success. He just lost to Aloysius Yap in the International not that long ago. Yeah, Al Cade's at the top of his game. Last six tournaments he's, he's played, he's finished about four of them. He's finished near the end, and you know how tough that is in the fields nowadays. So he's gearing up for the Moscone Cup coming up in a couple weeks as well. Yeah, it's funny. He came just in behind the com box and where we're located, and we were talking about the sacrifices these guys make to travel. And you know, they miss their family. They don't eat well, don't sleep well, and he is. You wouldn't mind being on his rewards program in term of 
miles, believe me. But he opens his session here, even after being donated the first rack. He's up 2 0 now. But you see how fast David plays, a very confident player. So, what I like about his game is he does attack. He's a lot of fun to watch. And you are going to be treated to some great shot making, courtesy of David Alcady here today. And hopefully, we'll see spurts of what Loy Long brings to the table, assuming he didn't come here for the holiday. It's a bit of both. I mean, it's, it's nice for amateur players to have a chance to play against the best players in the world as well. You know, one thing, he's wiping his brow. He's probably sweating. He had the, he had the jolt from wherever he came from, the parking lot to get here. They announced his name that he was due on table two. His match was starting in minutes, and he probably heard that, and he's running up the stairs. And, yeah, wouldn't mind taking his heart rate. Yeah, I got a feel for him a little bit. He wouldn't be the first guy that slept in for a match, I'll promise you that. I did it once in Las Vegas, and it wasn't because I was out the night before, I just didn't make it to the match. Yeah. You know, slept through my alarm. Okay, it's got a rail first play here. Six nine's not gonna be a six nine's not gonna be an issue later in the rack. Could open it up with the three, but probably won't get on the four if he takes that track. Off the cushion. Just back out towards the middle for the long two, three over the side pocket. As you've noted, Eric, the six, nine are a problem. This is a match, I think, if you said to David, you know, would you rather be playing this match or would you rather be given it by default? I think he'd rather play it. He knows he's really not going to be threatened. And you get a little bit of time on the tables, and there's no practice like match play, no matter how you try to prepare yourself. Even if it's an easy match, it's still a match. It's under match conditions. You've got the referee out there. You're not throwing the balls on the table for yourself in practice, so. Playing under the shot clock. Yeah, everything, Eric. Everything that presents itself. How about that shot? He's just going to freewheel a little bit here, and he's showing us his talent right now. Six-nine combination. Eight's in a tough spot. But you won't have to do much to get on the ten after the eight, so look, look for him to play the eight into the short pocket. Same pocket as the ten. Again, you know, an example of the talent and how quickly he thinks gets around the table. He is one of the supreme talents in this game, and he has been for a number of years. And 3 nothing already, barely 10 minutes into this match. And if you're just joining us, Loy Long surrendered both the lag and the first rack by being late. He was only a couple of minutes late, but those are the rules. He was down a rack, and as you said, Eric, if he'd have been 15 minutes late, he would have defaulted the match. So if nothing else, he gets a chance to play one of the people he's likely only ever seen on television or watching a stream. One of the top players in the word, world, David L. Cady from Spain. Spain's going to be competitive in the, in the team tournament. Al Cady's playing with uh, Francisco Sanchez. Sanchez Ruiz. Yeah, and, and the female player is Maite Ropero. Kind of a newcomer to the scene, but <coughs> very talented and capable of winning matches for them. Was the 10 doesn't count on the break Make the five as well no shot on the one could go rail first and try to cut it in the way the set's going i i could see him taking a chance at that yeah especially if he can cue at it without using the rake which it looks like he can yeah it's on the proper side of the table for him to be able to stretch over the 
ball first. Nice shot. Yeah, he looked to the heavens. He thought that cue ball was going to trickle up behind the 10. It didn't. And so he's in prime position. Probably going to have to take a longer shot on the three, but might try to find some really small tracks to get back closer to it. And again, all the other balls in the open. Four and seven near the left center. Just going for the bank to try and get closer to the three. That's an exhibition style match from Alcade here. What a shot. the way that he's playing here, Eric. I doubt that if he faced one of the big name players, I highly doubt that he'd be freewheeling the way that he is right now. He knows he's not going to be threatened. Still fun to watch, isn't it? I never get funny. I've, I've been around Q Sports for a lot longer than I really want people to know. I never, ever get tired of seeing exhibition shots, trick shots. Sure. It's like magic. You know, you become a kid again. To make something so hard look so easy, it's really a treat to watch. Well, this to secure set number one. And again, about 14 minutes in. So David, wants to make sure that all of us that have had plans for lunch, those reservations that we're going to make those tables. First set to al -Kady. And Loy, Loy Long on the left-hand side, well, he, he did have a, a glimpse at a few chances in the early going. Yeah, second game he had a couple chances. Al Al ran out the last two. The Medallia Light, Puerto Rican Open. We're in the men's section, 10 ball. Women's play will be coming your way midday. Then more men in the afternoon. And then the team events will be front and center at about 8 o'clock local time tonight. Yeah, it's been a terrific event. This is the second year we've come back to San Juan and this beautiful venue, the convention center here as nice as any venue I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. Dry break from Loy Long but nothing on offer as far as the one is concerned. Well, Katie is to make it back to the final 32 single elimination stage. He'll have to win three matches, including this one. Caught the double kiss there with the cue ball. So cue ball didn't end up as far from the one as he would have thought. Five ball is going to be tough in this rack. Kind of lined up with the 10, but not exactly to the pocket, so it's going to have to be moved or played real tough position on. It's a creative shot from Long there, as long as the cue ball doesn't go in the pocket. It's a nice shot. Two cushion escape. He's called the side pocket. a foul. Yeah, a little more speed. It would have been good there. So ball in hand for Loy. And he's got David on one foul. Opened up the seven or might have been the six away from the five. So the five's available now. Two rails forward here, play the three in the side. And I'll have you on the speed. 
Probably going to have to back off and play the cue ball behind the seven. There is room for the cue ball to sneak by the seven. He's got to be a little careful here. He did. So, okay, back in the driver's seat. Thin, thin cut on the first shot. See if he tries to come all the way up between the 9, 10 twice, or if he just slow rolls it in. Might be just straight enough to slow roll. Enough room for the 5 to get by the 10 here. Going to have to come up and play the 6 in the same pocket as the 5, I think. There is a drawing option where you could go over the left side rail and cross over the 10. This looks good. Opted for your first choice. Six to the same pocket. And Interesting to see Al Qaeda in kind of a freewheeling mode here. He's never been a slow player, but just really showing how well he knows the game. Yeah, you already alluded to how easy he can make it look. No one's got a better seat in the house than his opponent, Loy Long. Not the best preparation for a match against one of the best on the planet. But if nothing else, he'll be able to go back. He's from Washington State as Loy. He'll be able to go back home and let everyone know that he shook the hand that was capable of shaking the world. It's not over yet, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no, not true enough, Eric. Rack number two, set number two. Yeah, first round of the team event's gonna be tonight. It's gonna be kind of a quasi round robin format. Each team's gonna play three matches and, and the best eight records of the 16 players in the tournament are gonna advance to the quarterfinal stage. would assume if you win two or three matches, you'd be guaranteed into the final eight, and there'll be some kind of seven, eight seeds that might win one match and then kind of go to tie break type scenarios. Same format, short races in those matches. Be a lot of pressure packed pool coming up teams. Nice break there. Lots of action on the balls. Nothing down though. And as is the case so often in 10 ball, not a clear cut path to the finish line. 9 and 10 tied up together. And pretty messy on the top side of the table as we look. 4, 6. 2 is available. Yeah, he could try to run into it here. That's a creative shot. Very nice. Shot there by Long. Didn't quite have enough to, of it to pocket it. Try to get the cue ball behind the four, but he's left definitely an edge, if not enough of it to make it.
nicely there. Well, he's landed pretty close to that 7-2, and I don't know that the jump shot option is there. Well, he's called the side pocket. Jump over the 7 here? Watch this shot. Wow, what a try. Worth, worth a highlight reel shot there, even though it didn't go in. Yeah, kick jump. Had to elevate to get the cue ball airborne off that side cushion to get over the seven. Pretty cool effort. Long's going to have to navigate opening up the nine here. Much angle on the five. Gonna have to run the cue ball into the six. We'll have to see where the six ends up after he runs into it. Just decided to go with the safe. Got safe. But I can see him being in trouble on the next shot. Look for Alcade to play the cue ball behind the nine ten. at this two rails. Call the five in the side just in case it happens to the pocket. As an angle here we can move the cue ball towards the 910. Might feel like it's going a little bit above it. I wonder if Alcade will play the seven in the side with a lot of speed and try to hit half the nine and try and get the cue ball back towards the eight. I'm just going to use the eight to try to get into it. Might actually be able to get on the short side of it and play it in the right side pocket. get to that area now might choose to go into it I don't think he's got a lot of choice Eric I think he's got to try and hit them how he decides to go after them is really whatever he feels best to him. it looks like he's going to try and draw with left hand spin got, got him. him wow didn't open up quite how he wanted nice shot though He'd be thinking about banking the nine across table, but the cue ball is going to travel too far to the left if he tries that shot. Yeah, and he does want to play shots. I think his mindset would be to play a shot as though he's playing a top player. You know, prepare for matches where you're really going to be put under heat. Yeah, put yourself in that situation. If I had this shot, what would I do in a, in a big situation? I feel like you can play the cue ball to the left. This is creative. Two rail bank for, for distance. Opened up too much with the new cloth off the second rail. That was pretty aggressive there. So first, first good chance for Long to win his first rack of the match. That he does. Loy Long. His first rack win. Set number two. 1-1. One, one. And he secured the break in rack number three. side qualification matches for the men's division are coming up at 5.30 today. 
Yeah, and there's some mouth-watering prospects on offer too. Eric, I can give you some of the ones I, I had a look at the draw earlier and uh, some of the ones that stood out for me. Let me see if I can find them again. I know that uh, you've got Aloysius Yap against Shenlin Chang. That was one. Shane Van Boning against John Mora. Another one. Carlo Biaro versus Alex Kazakis. Fedor Gorst versus Lucadas from Greece. Alban Ocean against Phil Burford, British player, and Tyler Steyer versus Roland Garcia. Those are the ones that really highlight the 530 matches. And uh, I can tell you that the matches will be streaming, will be Van Boning versus Mora. And Yap versus Chang, Junlin Chang. So you won't want to miss that. Again, 5.30 local time. We hope you can tune in. You hear Loy Long. He's won his first rack. And he's just given ball in hand. And that 10 menacingly close to that corner pocket. And you wonder if at some point David Alcady may be looking for a combination to park that 10 in. Yeah, nothing really lying on the right side of the table, so pro probably going to shoot the rack out here. Key to this rack is getting good on the three. I feel like the three passes the seven into, the, into both in the left side pocket, but it also goes in the right. Just going to move the cue ball a little less over to the left side of the table. That was the key to the rack there. Just got to stay in line now. Probably one of the most underrated players on tour, not really by his results, just by when you have those conversations about the very best players in the world, he rarely comes up. But no doubt he's right He's right there with them. He's so modest, too. Sure, yeah, that's you know, part of it. Yeah, yeah. he just, uh, he's never a player that looks to be in the spotlight. Well, that one. Got well, away with it, though. Roll, no kidding. <laughs> but he must not have looked at that one very clearly or just took it for granted. Got to guard against complacency too. Yes, short races, you know. All of a sudden you lose the second game. Players one away from the hill. Ball in hand. Pretty elementary on the last four balls here. David looking to get his nose in front again. 2-1 in set number two. Already secured the first one, so this one would keep him on song. Some of the seated women are going to be playing their first rounds at noon today. Jessica Centeno's in the tournament. Che Yu Cho. Allison Kelly Fisher. Up and coming players. Christina Zlatavis here. Brittany Bryant from Canada. Christina Tkach. 
Christina Takach and Margaret Fefalova are actually playing at noon. They're actually uh, two of the ladies that have joined our commentary team in the past. Mm -hmm. I know I've done a, a couple matches with both of them. Yep, both good ambassadors for the game. Waitsu Chen is in the tournament as well. Most of those women will be representing their countries in the team event. Yeah, break not kind to David. Everything goes here. Of course, the difficulty of getting through a 10 ball rack, but nothing he has to develop. Kato want to shoot this in the bottom left. He's going to have to really drag the cue ball and play with a bunch of right to hold it. Shot was tougher than it looked. Got perfect. Nice shot. Nice angle to slide the cue ball over for the four of the same pocket. And this is... Pretty smooth sailing. Nothing short of a hurricane hitting San Juan is going to stop David from getting through this rack. Mm. It's been a lot of rain since we've been out here. Almost flash flooding as we were coming in. Nothing that shut the city down or anything. And it seems like they know how to deal with it. Our cab driver sure did. Yeah. He took us on the scenic tour. That's right. here matter of factly getting through the rack got in the middle on this one yeah I'm not sure what pocket he was playing the nine to whether he under hit that or over hit it yeah I was thinking he would just roll it in slowly but all of a sudden the cue ball was coming across so it was possible he was trying to cross it over yeah, a little tricky it should have been straightforward. Now he's got to come with a good shot here. Nice shot. The toughest part about that is the cue ball was kind of laying into a scratch both ways, so we have to draw it as well. Got through the rack regardless. Wasn't the easiest path, but it's a 3-1 advantage. And al will break for the last time in the match. Hoping to try and close it out. Get that lunch reservation in. If you've had a chance to see any of the, the amateurs in action, there's league play on all the tables on the third floor here in the convention center. Seven foot Predator Apex tables and nine foot tables for the the other players outside the two streaming tables that we're using. Yeah, but no no doubt they're passionate and you know they they all they're all dressed up in their nice uniforms and c coming out to watch the matches seems like um, like even in the earlier rounds there's the, the spectator seating is all full yeah, league play is really becoming very popular here on this beautiful Caribbean island 650 players in attendance for the CSI league event and 350 of them from Puerto, Puerto Rico Solid hit there, almost made the one on the side. Ended up going in the corner. No shot on the two. Probably look for him to use the middle stack here, the five, six, eight. Kind of bring the cue ball around two rails. Problem with that shot is the two is gonna tend to stick where the three is, and that now you're going on to not quite as big of a wall diagonally. Wants to try to move the two to the right. 
Call the tune the side. I don't feel like it's really off the three, maybe. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> made them both. Made three balls almost. And he's gonna have to get the short cue out now, because this one will be going airborne. Eric quickly points over to the highlight shots. <laughs> hmm. Another one coming up here. Just missed it. Took the shot for long as the opener here. Called the seven in the side. I'd be worried about not getting a shot on the four. Might be comboing it. On the four in the side. Surprising. Didn't even look like there was a pocket there. Well, he's finding pockets that aren't there. That had to go in off the nine. Didn't look like there was a pocket there for the five either. safe here, maybe real safe if the eight ends up in the, in the way. I think Alcade's going to go at this. This is reminiscent of the bank on the nine that he had in the to win the World Pool Masters. Decent wall coming that way. Spun the cue ball a little too much. Get the cue ball behind the seven here. He could choose to get, play safe behind the ten. Offensive shot is the bank. Almost got there. Well, he's left a combination six seven. Or he can duck behind the seven. Takes the aggressive option. And now, as he laid the foundation here for a match winning clearance. Good shot. Had to run into it there, developed it nicely. Strong match from Alcade in free wheel mode. Made some nice shots, though, looking confident. He's at the top of his game. You know, count him as a. Good favorite to get near the end here. Well, as you said, though, he's still got a, an uphill climb to get to the knockout stages. Yeah. But he's just a bit careful here. He's got to draw this. Well, he's going to try and force follow it. I was going to say that point, that middle point's in the way. Yeah, got the worst angle there. That's one thing I've noticed, Eric, when these players have had to try and force anything into these corner pockets, they have not accepted the shot. I've yeah. seen seen a lot of balls missed. Definitely. They, they play bigger at a slower speed, but at speed, really got to target the pocket solidly. That's going to be it for long in this, in this match. A nice tightener for David. Chance to get a little match practice in, and it's a two set to love win. David Alcady over Loy Long, and David's surge continues. His form continues, and he's a strong man. Of that, there's no doubt in this event, and people will take note of where his name is in the draw. But a nice win, regardless, and uh, Eric. There's still a lot of play coming your way. The ladies, are, you're going to be hanging around and doing a ladies match at noon. Yeah, we'll be back soon. 50 minutes time, folks. So don't go too far. Ladies on at noon. For Eric Horlifson, I'm Jim White. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all again in about 50 minutes.